as you can see, I'm tired. Well, I feel tired and I think I can see it. You might not be able to. Um, I replayed the to myself before republishing the um, vlog I made a couple of years ago about our um, past history with our neighbour and um, was interested in many ways, but interested to see that two years ago I was um, looking a lot younger because I was two years younger and slimmer because we had not uh, we had just recently finished doing that 12 week um, fast 800 diet and I'd lost two kilos and I was on lower steroids so I look a lot better to me I'd love to look like that now <laughs> but, but at the time I would have thought oh god look at the state of you um so I was thinking that um I was going to talk about um I'm going to talk about autoimmune disease and um I'm going to talk about it because there are many people that don't want to hear it and many people that want to throw um, you're eating the wrong food at me. Many people that are telling me that I need to stop eating inflammatory foods. And I want to say that um, it's not all about that. It's not all about that. And um, re looking at the, there's a cat creeping up because I've started talking, she'll be winding around. After watching that vlog, I realised that what we went through back then over a period of years from 2007 to 2000 in 2012, I think, it went on for many, many years. What we went through then was incredibly traumatic, incredibly stressful. There were times when I'd lay in bed and wonder whether he'd come in and um, with a gun. Now, he has never, since we put the wall up and we put the gate in and we did all the things that we needed to do to put in a boundary, a solid physical boundary, he's never set foot on our property and never threatened like that. But we felt threatened. I felt threatened. And it's, you know, how you feel is 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 real. So um, all of what we went through, all of the stress, all of the being reported to the gendarmes, the being um, having to go to court, um, having to go and see notaire, not notaire, well, the notaire and avocars, all of that was incredibly stressful in a culture that you're um, that you're new to, uh, a culture that you don't really understand. And there will be people that go, well, you should have understood it. Well, you can fuck off because you can't know. You'd have to be incredibly intelligent, and I'm not, to know exactly what you're walking into when you move to another country. You don't know that. Um, and so much happened to us in those first few years, um, besides Notre Voisin, um, that was really stressful. And we'd come, both of us, from stressful jobs in the UK. We'd come away from the UK um, having... Um, stopped working um, in um, high-end, um, high-level psychiatry, which was quite stressful, was stressful. And I think I tone it down by saying quite stressful because it's what we did and we were good at it and um, we probably won't, weren't really as aware as we could have been the, the impact it was having on us. I could see the impact on Mark, but that's always the case for me is I see what uh, and, and, and make assumptions about what's happening for him and want to take care of him and, and I'm missing what's happening with me and, and when we got here we have spoken that a few weeks ago we were both incredibly tired for a long time so I wanted to say that if you add in the stress of moving to another the stress of the jobs we were doing and then the stress of moving up st upping sticks selling up organizing all of that and getting here getting ourselves um, into the French system doing all the things that we needed to do for the bureaucracy add that in to what was going on for us with our neighbor um made it in incredibly stressful and and some would say uh, some of that was traumatic being you know laying in bed worrying that he's going to come in with a gun is traumatic um and you know there's a part of or there are some that might think that that's quite histrionic in or dramatic or catastrophizing but it didn't feel like that at the time we felt incredibly threatened um 
before the wall was up he you know came marching around hammering on the door and okay if you don't want this if you don't want that i'll show you where the border is marched around the back um put in a, a fence a post and wire fence with an with an axe and something else um not on the border you know further in just sort of fuck you i'm going to put it halfway through your bathroom window and that wasn't where the border was and but it, at the time you're lost and stumped and thinking shit you know what do we do now now what what do we got to do now policewoman turns up at the door on a what day was it? it was a sunday turned up at the gate on a sunday and said will you come up to the police station next week and you're thinking what the fuck have we done now and actually we hadn't done anything there was a list of things um that he'd complained about that, that actually were untrue he complained that our dog was keeping him awake at three in the morning we didn't have a dog my daughter had a dog and sometimes that dog was here during the day um, but certainly wasn't here at night that was just one of the things but all of the things on his list of misdemeanors are, that we had committed were not true so um but that's by the by um so it's unsurprising that with all of that in my background that i haven't that i've come up with an autoimmune disease and that's just a small part of um the causes of autoimmune disease you know there's sort of there's your diet there's what's happening to you in in your surroundings there's the trauma that you might have experienced the stress that you might be experiencing um environmental factors who knows so many things and then what happens is your body decides well i might as well start attacking you as well and it's crap it's really crap and at the moment i've got a doctor's appointment on monday morning um because i want to get my blood sugars checked but at the moment both mark and i are really tired for the last two three days I sort of think it's because I'm doing more because he's unable to do as much and I think that's why I'm tired but I feel like I'm dragging myself around and I'm thinking you know I don't like being on this level of steroids and actually I probably need to increase my steroids I really don't want to do that that would be a real bummer if that if the reason that I'm dragging myself around is that my PMR is flaring or or something so um so I, I, I wanted to say that, I, and I wanted to say it because I need to not feel bad about talking about what's going on for me. And there are the odd few people that would go, I don't want to hear that, or you're moaning, or you're always moaning, you know, why can't you be happy? Well, fuck them. It's like, I am happy. I am happy and I can moan. Um, I've gone back to my, um, I've gone back for therapy and I, um, went back for therapy um in response to expecting mark to have actually had his operation on wednesday um and of course that's been delayed but i went back because i was feeling so overwhelmed and i thought i need to go go and get make sure i'm supporting me um and as my therapist said to me the other day you know remember that the the advice you get when you're on an airplane and uh, you know when you're if if you need to use oxygen then put yours on first before you go to help your child and it's true she said if you're not taking care of you then you're not going to have all that you need to take care of mark and it's correct and it's right and um i don't talk about my stuff because it wasn't acceptable in my family so I'm talking about it here because I'm going to um, break that wall and say, why shouldn't I talk about it? Um, it's it's my stuff. It's about me. And this vlog is about me. Um, and, and I want to talk about what's real. So that's why I'm talking about it. Fucking therapy has brought up loads of feelings for me. I was so shocked. You know, I went in thinking, oh, I'm just going to go and get a bit of support. It's amazing what I have got back in touch with um very quickly um she's recommended that i do some writing and i've been doing some writing and uh, the writing really is bringing up stuff for me so any of you out there who aren't in therapy who are struggling with something i recommend that you get yourselves writing like a journal um, and see where what that brings up for you because when i put pen to paper i'm not expecting 
um, the feelings that I have to come up, it, it somehow gets rid of the overlay, which for me normally is sadness. It gets, but uh, I'm happy, but you know, in respect to what's coming up for me. Um, it gets rid of the sadness and gets beneath that. And I discovered the other day that underneath that was some anger, um, which felt dangerous because anger has always felt dangerous for me. So I recommend you do that. If you're struggling with something, just do some writing, get rid of what's the head stuff on paper will allow you to bring up what's in your body and what, what you're feeling and, and, and the authentic feelings rather than what you would normally. M women often, um, it's, it's common that women um, often will cry when they're angry because it's been drummed into them and it's more acceptable, acceptable for a woman to cry than to be angry, you know, and, and, and even now, it's like even here on my vlog sometimes people, um, men get annoyed with me being assertive and angry and um, opinionated and, and ranty. So you're still having people bang, you know, you mustn't do that, you're a woman. They don't actually say that, but that's what they mean. So getting in touch with anger has been um, interesting. Getting in touch with feelings I wasn't expecting has been interesting. And um, I'm sure there's more to come, um, but, I, but I need to do it. I think it's important that I find ways to um, make sure that I am taking care of me so that when Mark does finally go in for his knee op, that when he comes home, I can take care of him um, in the way that I would want to whilst taking care of me at the same time I think I'm squinting now because it is really bright it wasn't it was cloudy so I'm going to leave you with that so that's my story so far today and today is Friday we've been shopping pick well I did the shopping online picked it up I've got a whole five day plan for fast 800 meals which I'm really pleased with because I've not done that for days and I really think I need to do some low carb stuff that might help with our energy levels. So I've, I've got some really nice fast 800 meals to do, I've got the, the ingredients I need. So I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to do the supper for tonight is protein powered salad. I can't remember what it's got in it apart from chicken. I think it's got quinoa. Uh, I can't remember what else, but it will be nice. I've had it before. Okay. Thanks for your indulgence and see you soon.